the idea of velocity in physics is really important, and it, we're going to use the same idea to um, talk about all kinds of, of things that change or don't change. And the idea of velocity is that it's the rate of change of position. So I'll write that out. Rate of change of position. And by rate of change, what I mean is that there's a change in something and it happens over some time interval. So it's a time rate of change. And in this case, if we're talking about velocity, it's the time rate of change of position. So when we have displacement over a time interval, you might think of that as a time displacement, we call this the average speed. And typically we use the word speed to just mean the absolute value, but this this ratio here does have a positive and a negative. And so even if we write it out, say, V, which we're going to use for velocity, is the change in position over time, if the position is negative over a positive time interval, then you can have a negative velocity. So what does that mean? So if the velocity is positive, that means you had a delta x that was positive, so you are going in the positive direction. If it's negative, that means your delta x was negative, so you are going in the negative direction. Okay, so that means then that one of the ways we can talk about velocity is as an instantaneous rate of change. And you'll learn this in your calculus class, that when we talk about an instantaneous rate of change, then v becomes dx dt. And we can talk about that graphically, too. So if we're looking at position as a function of time, right, and we do an experiment, then we might have some positions at various times. And we can calculate the change in the position divided by the change in time. And check out what we just did. We just measured the slope of a line between those two points. So now we have that the slope, the rise over run, is equal to this idea of v, the velocity. And so if you have something that has, say, a zero velocity, well, what does that mean? A zero velocity means that you have no rise over that run. You have no change, and so that's a velocity of zero. So how would you get a negative velocity? A negative velocity means that your position is decreasing over time. 